then again, we're ready to keep going with our Be My Valentine dishcloth. We've worked rounds one, two, and three. And now we're ready for round four. But before we start round four, we have to do a slip stitch at the top of the three chains with the new color. And the new color is red. Bright red. Bright happy red. Well, that sure certainly makes a change in our design. Switch into that bright dark red. And it is a Valentine dishcloth, so it needs some red. Alright, fourth round with C. Chain three. One, two, three. Two double crochets in the next double crochet. Now, we're at the most interesting part of the pattern. It says, yarn over hook and draw up a loop in the next double crochet. Yarn over hook and draw through two loops on the hook. Then it has all that in parentheses and it says five times. So that means we need to do everything in those parentheses five times. And then at the end of that it says yarn over hook and draw through the six loops on the hook and you've made a bobble. So let's look at our chart and see what that bobble is supposed to look like. So you see how you have a bobble right here? You can see one down here at the bottom as well. It's got all those double crochets done in the same stitch. So now we understand that we need to work after we do those three chains and then we do the two double crochets, we're doing a bobble. Here, I'll show you up here. See the three chains and then we did the two double crochets. And now we're doing a bobble here and it's all being done at the top of that next stitch. So that whole bobble, every bit of those instructions are all going to be done in one stitch. Good thing we had a chart to help us understand that. So, yarn over hook, drop a loop in the next double crochet. Yarn over hook and draw, oh wait a minute. Let me double check and make sure I'm doing this right. Yarn over hook, drop a loop in the next double crochet. There's my loop. Yarn over and draw through the two loops on the hook. So just the two on the hook. So now it says do that five times. So I so I don't do anything with these two that are on here. Yarn over hook, draw up a loop in that same double crochet. Yarn over hook and draw it through two. Now I have three on the hook and we're doing every bit of this in that same spot. That was number two. Here comes number three. Yarn over hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over hook and pull it through two. Now I have four and we're still working in that same spot. So, so far I've done that repeat three times. I need to do it two more times. I have five. Now I have six. See all those six? Now it says yarn over hook and draw through six loops on the hook. Shoo. I made a bobble. There's my bobble. All that made a bobble. Pretty complicated, man. <laughs> so I made a bobble. Now it says one double crochet in the next double crochet. So now we can finally move on to that next double crochet and just do a plain old double crochet there. Next, we do two double crochets in the next double crochet. So this is like simple stuff now. <coughs> now it says bobble in the next double crochet. So I'm going to point my camera down a little bit to help you see this better again. So now we're ready to do a bobble. <coughs> We've already done one bobble. We did it over here. 
So now we're going to do another bobble. When you look up at your pattern, it tells you that all the stuff you did before was a bobble. And the stuff that makes the bobble is the stuff in the parentheses, and then the stuff right after the parentheses. Everything in italics, that's a bobble. So we're going to do everything in the, in the italics in this next double crochet right here. Yarn over a hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over a hook, draw it through two. That was one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. So now I have four, six. I have six on the hook. Yarn over, we'll pull it through all. There, I made another another bobble. So now I've made two bobbles so far. I'm getting better at this. Now, repeat from the asterisk around. So if you look at your pattern, your asterisk is up here where it says one double crochet in the next, then do two double crochet in the next, then bobble in the next. So we're going to do one double crochet here, two double crochets there, a bobble there, one there, two there, bobble there, one there, two there, a bobble there. So now it's time for one double crochet. Now we're going to do two double crochets in this double crochet. And now we're going to do a bobble. So we come around here, we pull it through two. Go around, pull it through two. That was two, three, four. through all six. There's another bubble. <coughs> so now you can look back at your work and you can see you did one, you did a double, you did a bobble. One, you did a double, you did a bobble. One, two, bobble. So now it's time for another. One, and now we'll work two here. Now we'll work a bubble. There's one, two, three, four. I know some of mine are loosey goosey, but I'm just living with it. Five. There. <coughs> I don't have very perfect bubbles. <laughs> so I guess it takes practice to make them really pretty. So one double crochet. And I do two here. One. Two. Now I'm going to try to make a pretty bubble this time. Maybe I can do it. Wish me luck. So far, so good. Four. Five. Looking pretty good. Now I'll pull it through all six loops there. Quite snug. So I'm starting to get the hang of this. If you look at the back, I think that these things here are probably going to have to be pushed forward to the front to make them look more like a real bobble. Yeah, that does look better when you push them through. So that's all that the fourth round is just working one double crochet, two double crochets, and then a bobble over and over again. And then it says at the end, 
that you'll have 48 stitches. So when they're counting the stitches, they're counting your double crochets and then one stitch at the top of your bobble. So there's one, and then there's two more, that's three, and then four is the bobble. So that whole bobble counts as just one stitch up at the top. And the way you can really count them is just to count your V's across the top here, the sideways V's. And you'll be able to see there's only one V at the top of each bobble. So that's what we're counting. And I'm not going to count those right now. I'm too busy counting my bobbles. <laughs> so one. <clears throat> we'll count our stitches at the end. Hopefully we've got it right. Then we'll do two in this one. Now it's time for another bobble. And pull up the loop. One. The fifth one's the hardest one to get down into that spot. Five. And then you pull it through all six. There. One double crochet. Double crochets here, and then a bobble. So I've worked halfway around my circle. I'm going to keep going all the way around making my bobbles, and I will see you in the next video when we work on the next section. I hope you're enjoying making yours like I am. I think it's really pretty. See you soon. Bye.